Every day I have to be grateful, often for the quietness of life. More well, I have to think about it and things that would just be stationary objects or trees or these things that extend outside become the most important aspect to our own existence because it's the small things that nourish us. It's the small things that for me that feed my own creativity. <laughs> Honestly, in whatever medium I have an outlet and, and, and desire to explore. Um, often it can be between my own visual art, what I can do through painting, design, and media. But often it's also storytelling. The ability to convey specific emotions through these narrative aspects of being and belonging through these ephemeral notes. These moments that I go up on stage, these moments that I dress up in a character, I become a person that explores these avenues of human fragility, that becomes such a beautiful human experience to share. For me, visual art, music, information gathering, it's one way of exploring my human curiosity. My human curiosity of who am I and what am I? What is my, pos my potential of being? My potential of exploring my own senses of duality and self. To understand my own universe of thought. My different threads of, of, of self. And seeing these things as like a sense of practice. Often I have to see like these institutional boxes as like a way that I have to constant navigate. It's like fighting a system to accept who I am. But often, it's still like painting an infinite portrait. To kind of see where things belong. A form of freedom. A way that I can even honor my own inner child. A way that I can see myself and education and my sense of being and belonging as a way of expressing my own desire for knowledge and conquest to see how I exist in the spectrum of time. Being able to look at the past, see myself in the present and how I exist in the future. Me even see myself as a Jamaican to even look at my softness in the spectrum of um, larger Caribbean culture. You know, how I grew up and my expectations of being Ah, a manly masculine person, a gallus, all of these different things. But the reality is just recognizing how soft and gentle that I can be. And these are some of the small things that I've realized over the years. That making art and being the person that I am is a question of all of these senses of origin. Where I feel that I exist in all these different spaces that didn't really hold space for me. But me carving space out for myself. Me taking time for myself to really see, say, yeah, this is me. This is me exploring a whole avenue of, of potential that my brain and my body and my biology knows far more than I could even imagine. And the ability to bring context to the past, to pull these abstract forms and data and sense of belonging, to play gratitude for all those teachers that I've had in my life, those people that have influenced the ways that I think, whether it is from people that grew up with me in Jamaica, to the people here I have in Detroit, to the friends and family that I founded in Paris, to just all these different places that become home those senses of places of belonging that me would have pushed to the side typically but recognizing that is a part of my infinite portrait my portrait of building my life to become to become the person that i know that i am destined to be whether that is through painting music media and the ability to create and to be human